Becky Siegel, VP of Engineering at Bark & Co. Bark & Co is dedicated to making dogs happy and healthy. Um, we do Bark Box, which is a monthly subscription of toys and treats for your dog. Um, we also have Bark Shop, where you can get like the best uh, treats, toys, and other products for your dog. We think of the dog as our customer, but really it's about giving a great experience between you and your dog to share. So we want to be able to listen to our customer when they write in, understand exactly what it is their dog needs and would make them the most happy, and be able to serve them a bark box that really is perfect for their dog. We started using AWS Comprehend to take the custom text written responses along with the scores and do a sentiment analysis along with the score to find that cross section of low score, low sentiment. And we use that to kind of narrow down the field. And then we additionally use keyword extraction to um, identify what are the most commonly used words that people are talking about. It might be a low sentiment score, but a high rating. And things like that would be, uh, my dog destroyed all of their toys. And for some people, that's actually a really great thing. Uh, their dogs really enjoy ripping them up, and so they're rating it very highly, but sentiment analysis thinks that words like ripping and destroy would be a low sentiment, but it isn't necessarily in all of our cases. And then there's also just very funny things about the way humans and dogs differ. Um, where a dog might really like a very stinky treat, but the human doesn't want to necessarily deal with the stinky treat all the time. So one of the things we're noticing now is like, all right, no stinky treats for this dog. Right now, it's really helping us refine the product and what we're offering. So we're taking it slowly and building out this program and trying to really listen and find patterns in what customers want. The idea is that we'll be able to take like large groups, like when we see a lot of people who are requesting more toys or more treats in their box that we'll be able to kind of make that a whole new category that people can opt into right now that wouldn't be so manual in the future. But right now it's like really helping us inform our product decisions. The best part about it has just been uh, seeing customers write back and say, it's really great that you were able to listen. I didn't know that anybody was reading these and we're able to do it faster and get through more of the customer responses in a timely manner that's actually very actionable and improves their experience.